I immediately turned the wheel, hit the gas as hard as I possibly could, and powered through water that was coming up over the, the hood of the car. A harrowing night for Chris Smith of Yardley. He tells CBS News Philadelphia he and his dog Stumpy were driving home last night when the downpour started. Smith says the flooding followed quickly. It took about two minutes for me to hit a spot where the water had just come completely off to the side and hit the car. Smith's car isn't doing too well today. But it got him through a tight spot. And I was able to hug my daughter and talk to my wife. People across Bucks County have felt the impact of this rain. Here in Lower Makefield, parts of Taylorsville Road remain closed on Sunday, but this is a far cry from what this road looked like just on Saturday. This water would have been up to our, above our kneecaps where we're standing right here, and it was raging. It would, there were waves. And just two blocks away on Maple Vale Drive, the Luzecki family returned home from vacation to find their entire backyard swept away. This is our fourth flood and this is by far the worst and nothing is being done. Washed away was a rebuilt motorcycle and the family says they found their shed about a quarter mile away. There's no power to the house, which still has water flooded inside it. I can't see a future here any longer. With the storms getting worse, this is the end for us in this neighborhood. It's just too much. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia.